Hello and welcome back to another video. In this problem, we're asked to explain why the function is discontinuous at the given number a. And we're also asked to sketch the graph of the function. So a function is continuous at point a if the limit as x approaches a of the function is equal to the value of the function at that point, f of a. So first of all, let's take um, the limit as x approaches a. So if we have the limit as x approaches a from the left, of f of x, that's the limit as x approaches negative 1 for values that are less than negative 1, which means we're using x plus 3. We can just plug it in, negative 1 plus 3, which is 2. The limit as x approaches a from the, the right of f of x is the limit as x approaches negative 1 from values that are greater than negative 1, which means we're using 2 to the x, which means this is 2 to the negative 1, which is 1 over 2 to the 1, or 1 over 2, 1 half. Therefore, since the limit as x approaches a from the left and the right do not equal each other, the limit does not exist and therefore cannot equal the value of the function because it does not exist in the first place. So we also asked to graph this function to demonstrate uh, what a discontinuity actually looks like. So we have the point of negative 1 here. The graph of 2 to the x looks something like this. If you can follow my uh, pen being traced. So we're going to draw it, and then we're going to stop at uh, negative 1. We draw an open circle to denote that the function does not equal 2 to the x at this point. And then we use uh, x plus 3. So this is a um, linear function. So you take 3 is the uh, y-intercept, and then the slope is 1, so we go to the right 1 and up 1, to the right 1 and up 1. So it looks something like this. And then we follow it down to negative 1, and then we draw a solid circle because it's equal to negative 1 also for x plus 3. So this, we can see why it's discontinuous, because we have a jump discontinuity. The two functions that are approaching from both sides do not equal each other. Therefore, the function from the calculations or the graph is discontinuous.